Hi everybody, uh, I'm making a review uh, of the Optimal One uh, single burner. Um, as you've noticed, I've been using this machine uh, in my last works, uh, and it's it's a brand new world for me. Um, it works very differently from the the other one. Um, it's a single burner, but uh, the power is just the same as the dual burner. Uh, you only have one connection, um, but it is exactly the same as the other one. Uh, it comes with this um, stand for the, the pens, uh, which I haven't placed yet because I wanted to do it on camera. Uh, so let's do it right now. It comes in a plastic bag. You can place it wherever you want to. Uh, I'm placing mine right here, facing me, because I think that the pens will yeah as you can see it is very easy to use um, and it works very good I also have a heavy duty cord uh, which I advise you to to buy this one uh, to go for this one uh, it's a 16 gauge cord. Uh, it has um, better uh, heat recovery. Also, if you have uh, bigger tips like uh, shading tips, uh, tips that uh, have uh, bigger contact with um, the wood, uh, it is better to have a heavy duty cord with also heavy duty style pens. Um, this will be better. So the cord is also um, very flexible. Uh, it won't stand in your way. It also has um, RCA jacks, which give you a better connection and you lose uh, less heat, which is what happens with other brands uh, that claim that they have a lot of power and a lot of heat, and it does not happen. Um, you lose a lot of heat between the the machine body and uh, the tip. Mainly through uh, the cord and in the connection, and they uh, don't have uh, interchangeable tip pins. Uh, this is actually a plus. Uh, first, if you think about it, uh, how many pens do you use? Uh, do you stand 15 pens? Uh, for me, I actually, uh, what I use uh, the most are um, two pens. Uh, the shader and the writing nib, uh, which are the ones I made myself uh, for the other machine even if you use more pens you will lose uh, less heat uh, because the tips are already uh, soldered with the silver jewelers uh, to the brass carrier uh, this will allow you to lose much less heat and uh, you will have a more uh, solid uh, temperature range um, so, um, 
I don't think that uh, interchangeable uh, tip pens are a plus. Uh, I think these ones uh, work much much better and uh, they are also um, very comfortable. You can also have uh, all the pen uh, covered with foam uh, if you want to. Um, I don't think uh, you will need it uh, unless you do a specific uh, type of burning um, this one works very good with just the regular foam um, the tips uh, aren't uh, also made they are nickel chrome alloy uh, but not the usual nickel chrome and they come also high polished uh, to a, a mirror level uh, what this does is that you won't have uh, carbon build up so fast you won't have to clean them uh, as soon as you get them and for uh, some time um, this polishing will last some time you can also buy uh, aluminium oxide this is two dollars uh, and will last you a long long time you will just need a little bit of it to clean the tips uh, with a leather straw for, for instance so you should buy this to clean your tips it's two dollars and the machine, this I've noticed that this doesn't get hot uh, even uh, with uh, higher temperatures which I use um, I haven't used more than 5 actually uh, with 5 all of the tips uh, burn really dark really really dark uh, I usually use 4 the most, 4.5 um, I also work with soft wood, so maybe you uh, can have to um, to use a little more with harder woods. I don't know, but you won't have to use uh, nine or ten for sure. Uh, this machine has a very big heating power. Um, you also have here in the back. As you can see, you can adjust the low end temperature a little bit. Uh, mine came perfect. I have a good burning at 0 0.5. Uh, it already burns. So it's perfect for me. I also have a, a ball tip pen which I always wanted to try this was uh, actually created uh, by Optima around 2002 and then the other brands uh, created uh, their own but this was initially created by Optima uh, the single burner with one pen and uh, one heavy duty 16 gauge cord will cost you a hundred and nine dollars and the warranty uh, this burner comes with a lifetime uh, warranty against manufacturing defects for the power supply uh, the cords and the pen body uh, as for the tip uh, they cannot control the way you use the tip or where you, you use it so it is not uh, it does not have this warranty uh, I think it's it's normal um, so I think it's the, the best one uh, on the market they also have these new um, shaders which have a new concept um, which 
is more close to this sphere shape as you can see they have them in several sizes so I think this is the smaller one uh, when choosing your tips you don't have to do, to have the same tips as I do uh, Pat which, which is the owner of the um, PGL Enterprises that makes Optima uh, will help you choose the best pens for you so you won't have to buy uh, pens that you won't use or that will not uh, be suited to your type of work uh, so this is also a plus I just wanted to add that this machine was sent to me uh, by Pat for testing uh, I didn't put it uh, not because I wasn't sure uh, of the quality or anything uh, I just didn't put it because uh, I couldn't afford it and uh, Pat um, had the kindness to send it to me uh, it came in a time where I was having a lot of problems with uh, the other machine I used so it was like uh, something amazing for me uh, this information is also important this uh, my uh, machine body uh, is a 220 volt machine so it can burn a little different from the 110 volt machine the values I'm getting uh, may be different as I've said before you can uh, adjust them um, right here adjust your settings so you can burn uh, lighter or darker if you prefer mine uh, could run a little uh, lower a little lighter um, I think I leave it this way for now but you always have uh, this choice you can use to lower or increase uh, slightly your settings so I'm uh, testing it for you I will turn it on at uh, 0 0.5 I don't know if you can see that and I will be using a small round shader for that It is at uh, 0 0.5 as you can see you can already burn The range you have with this machine is completely different uh, from other machines. So this is uh, 0 0.5. Let's increase to 1 wait just a few seconds this is the one setting 
and if you leave it more time and this is a shader so you would need um, more power so let's increase it to 2 wait a few seconds so this is temperature 2 this is 2, now let's go ahead and use 4 so you can see I don't uh, usually use more than 4 because there is no need as you can see this is 4 with a shader and you can get a perfect dark with it so you won't need with soft wood you won't need to use uh, more than four to get a really good uh, dark area As you can see, this is at 4. And it is not hot and it won't get hot, it, neither your hands or your fingers. Uh, with a high temperature uh, that will end up on happening but you can work for uh, much longer than with the other machines I don't feel my fingers hot uh, and I have uh, as you can see a perfect dark area um, so this is how it works with a shader just for you to remember this is 0.5 this is 1 this is 2 and this is 4 so as you can see um, it already starts at 0 0.5 these values uh, I've got with my machine uh, 220 volts body machine are slightly different from what you can have uh, with the US uh, machine um, the values are slightly higher I will place a picture uh, of uh, those same settings with a 110 volt machine body for the US use so you can see the difference between them uh, although, as I've said before, you can lower the settings uh, in the, the machine so uh, if you think they are too high, you can lower them a little bit so this is the optimum one single burner this is how your uh, pens will uh, come to you um, and you also have 
all sorts of uh, tip you can choose from if you need to so that you buy only what you will need um, so I will leave you the, the link uh, to their website if you have any question regarding the machine or uh, anything please feel free to, to ask uh, and I really recommend this this machine uh, over all the others. Um, this is a real good investment, and it's it is very cheap for the the quality uh, for a high end machine um, uh, compared to the all the other ones. Um, it has bigger power, better pens, better cords everything is better uh, so if you do want to buy a high-end machine uh, I really advise this one uh, between the single and the dual the dual is just more practical to use uh, you can have two pens uh, plugged in and switch between them if you don't want to spend uh, more money you can buy the single one and change your pens uh, whenever you need to they will cool down very fast as they also heat very fast so that won't be a problem at least for me it is not and I think it won't be for you um, so this is a real good investment you won't have to upgrade uh, if you need any other uh, pen uh, you have all of them uh, available I wish I knew that before I buy those other machines but well now I can uh, give you this information and I hope you liked it if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments and I hope you make the right choice see you soon